Hello, my name is Zoe Linton and I'm the Chief People Officer here at Doncaster and Bassett Law Teaching Hospitals. I've been here about a month now and I've had a really warm welcome from everybody that I've met across all of our sites and I've been really impressed that the commitment that everybody shows to patient care has really, really, really shone through. Um, so I'm really happy to have been here so far. I'm proud to be the Exec Director Lead for both People and OD, Organisational Development and Education and Research and I'm really passionate about everything to do with our people agenda and what we do to support and develop our people has a direct impact on our delivery of outstanding patient care. Our current people strategy comes to an end this year, so from next year we'll have a new people strategy and I see that will be really closely aligned to some of the national resources that we have now. So we've got the NHS People Plan and the People Promise, um, which you may have heard about some of those things. I thought I'd just say a little bit about what I see as our sort of priorities over the next sort of couple of years around that. So the National NHS People Plan has got four pillars. Um, first two are around belonging in the NHS and looking after our people. So around this, this kind of area, health and wellbeing is really important for us here at the Trust. You know, it's been a tricky couple of years. We've got a good wellbeing offer in place. So for me, it's how can we build on that and make sure it's available for everybody and accessible so it's there for our people when they need it. Another part of this is developing an inclusive culture, so a place where everybody feels they belong, where everybody feels they heard and listened to and can get involved in making improvements in, in where they work. Um, so how we engage with and involve our people I think is really important. Leadership's another aspect of this, so we have our Develop Belong Thrive Here ethos, which again comes through really strongly. How can, how can we build on that? How can we be clear around our expectations for our leaders and equally how we will support and develop them in return? Um, and I use the word leader in its widest sense because we have leaders across all our organisations, so not just the people in senior leadership roles. Um, so th there's more that we want to do around developing our people in this way and appraisals are a part of that of course so we're now in our appraisal season and I want that to be just a part of a year-round conversation rather than something that just happens once a year. The second couple of aspects in the people plan are around new ways of working and delivering care and growing for the future and under this I see so all aspects of the work we do around education coming under here, so how we support, develop, nurture, grow our people, um, how we develop career pathways, um, how we recruit people in externally, so our pipeline, our talent pipeline into the organisation, how we work with our partners. We had the um, We Came to the Future event earlier this month, which was absolutely fantastic. How do we work with schools, colleges and other local partners for our future workforce? And how do we make clear what our career opportunities are for people with us already? and there's lots of great stuff happening already, so how do we keep building on that? When we think about recruitment and retention, we know there are national challenges, workforce challenges, um, areas where it's quite difficult to recruit. So again, what, what, what are opportunities around that? Um, how do we look at workforce development? So different kinds of roles as well, as well as sort of recruiting the roles that we've got already. And research is a big part of this for me as well. So. There's great things happening around research. So just this month we've launched the Baby D project um, based on some learning we've taken from elsewhere. So lots of opportunities for innovation there too. Another thing that I think is important and brings us lots of opportunities is around system working. So this month we've had the formal establishment of the integrated care systems, although well, we've been sort of working in that way for a little while now, it's all official. Um, and of course at Doncaster and Bassett Law we are part of two. ICSs, so with South Yorkshire and with Nottinghamshire, um, and for me that brings opportunities to work together again with our system partners across healthcare and other sectors, it's because of strength in that collaboration and you know how can we work together to see better opportunities for our people. So I think there's loads of great things going on, um, lots happening across the whole of the people agenda and lots of great opportunities to keep building on the work that we do.